What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS. The Hourglass of Lepidoptera. I have to think about that for a second because that part is actually very tricky. The Hourglass of Lepidoptera. Not a phrase you'll say very commonly, so yeah. Um, anyway, in the previous video, we tried to walk back all the way to our mansion with um, Tadayoshi and we actually did manage to get there. But something seems really, really off. I mean, it was off to beginning by saying that we're visiting our own funeral. But the fact that seeing as the Tadayoshi that we are right now is he said he was 16 years old and apparently the one that has died and which funeral we tried to attend was already a grown-up so something is kind of wrong still don't know what but I think we were on our way back to the church so yeah let us continue Ugh! twitch twitch um, idiots everywhere I remember seeing her she was in the previous video, video too, very shortly. I don't know how many days have passed since I drifted to this place. At this point, I'm beating up guys who try to pick fights with me daily. I'm already used to it. Hey, that girl's tough, but she's got good proportions, don't you agree? Hmm, tits are nothing but a blob of fat. Well-toned chest muscles the best, man. Heh. <laughs> I bet she pleasures men on the side. Ah, she looks sad. People either want to do me or fill me up. Their desires give me a headache. People here are trying hard just to live. I guess that's the only entertainment they've got, other than gambling. Hey, if you've got something to say, spit it out! I shout at those sneaky people. I can't help it. That kind of stuff gets on my nerves. Maybe because I've still got that thing from before in my head. A nun who lives in an old church. She's been smiling at everyone and her presence comforts me. A nun who gives a helping hand to anyone. She wants to help anyone who's in trouble. Rosary. I can't understand what she's thinking at all. Are all her good works done out of the goodness of her heart? Or does she have some sort of agenda? I can't see anything fishy about her. That boy with Rosary. She must have picked him up. Rosary really likes to get involved in those kinds of problems. Well, it's got nothing to do with me after all. I'm just doing whatever I have to in order to survive. I ain't got time to care about anyone else, and they never catch my interest. Speaking of rosary, I remember there'll be a soup kitchen at the church tomorrow. Once a week, they give food to people who live in the slums. I heard that rosary's paying for that all out of her own pocket. Dang, why does she seem like such a saint? Like she's not just a, not just a regular nun, she's like the Mother Teresa of this world. Food is the most valuable thing in the slums. It's a fact of life that people fight and steal from each other for it. Maybe I should pay a little visit, cause free food is nice. I'm not interested in anyone regardless of gender, but I can't get Rosary out of my mind. I don't know what she wants, but that's enough reason to have an interest in her. Oh, a very suspicious man indeed. You can tell by the hat already, and the fact that we're not seeing his eyes, because the eyes is like the part that you usually try to judge a person on. And if you, you, because I hear people say like, yeah, he's got good eyes, therefore he seems like he's innocent, right, or he's, he's harmless. But this guy cannot even see his eyes, so we don't know. As day turn into night. Ah. I've lost count of how many times I've sighed. How did I return here from the mansion? I don't remember the way back at all. When I was on the way to the mansion, everything looked colorful and fresh. But on the way back, I felt like they'd become lackluster and faded. It's cold night time. <laughs> Tarayoshi Kurokawa 
is already a grown up and has died of a heart attack, then who am I? What am I? I can't figure out who I am. The things I felt sure uh, uh, the things I felt sure of are crumbling. It feels like I wandered into an unknown world while sleeping. What should I do? I've lost everything I had in a night. Not only my wealth and status, but also my existence. Now what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, no, no, I don't freaking know. I don't know at all. Ah! I couldn't bear the burden of my heart being crushed. I had to scream out loud. Tara Yoshikun? Are you okay? Rosary? Sorry. Did I wake you up? Rosary enters the room in a hurry. I think she heard my scream and got worried. No, but I couldn't care less about that. Rosary stares at me with a worried look on her face. Tears are about to flow from her big round eyes. Please don't do that. If she starts crying, I'll cry too. Hey, Tarayoshi-kun, can you tell me more about yourself? About me? Will that mean anything to you? The person here is Tarayoshi Kurokawa, except he's not really. My experiences are nothing but lies to Rosary, but... I want to hear what path you walked in the past. Well, he only walked from, uh, the, di from the dining room to his uh, own bedroom every single time, being companioned by his uh, butler. So, I ended up telling Rosary everything I've experienced. Being the likely successor of Kurokawa Zaibatsu, I took special classes. The family didn't like me, and the servants were only there to care for me. And I rarely went out of the mansion and spent days reading books. I told her anything that came to mind. <sighs> Rosary listen listened to everything I told her. She looked me in the eyes and listened without comment. Oh, you've been on a troubled path. Oh my god, there's the creepy look again. Something about it, man. I know she's like so sweet and such a saint and, and more than a nun. Like one of the best nuns in, in the entire world probably. But something about that look of her just gives me a little shiver. I don't know what it is. Perhaps I'm the only one. I don't know. After waiting for me to finish my story, Rosary hugs me gently. It's so warm, and she smells so nice. I feel like my heart is filling up with so much warmth, I'm about to cry. I don't know what I am. I've lost everything, like my place in life, my existence. I can't do anything anymore. Yoshi Kurokawa, the likely successor of Kurokawa Saibatsu, has indeed passed away from a heart attack. But the Tarayoshi Kurokawa I know is an arrogant boy who treats strangers like me rudely. That doesn't make me feel better. So you, the person in front of me, are definitely Tarayoshi Kun. You're nobody else. Rosary words, uh, Rosary's words lifts a weight from my heart. I feel stupid for thinking so seriously about my identity. Well, I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa, as you told me. Yes, to me, you are Tadayoshi Kun. If you don't get it right today, you can try again tomorrow. She slowly pats my teary head with her warm hand. That comforts me so much. Her hand banishes the darkness in my mind. Whoa! Oh? Getting sleepy? I don't know. But now that's my he that my head's cleared up, I'm feeling pretty tired. <laughs> Looks like you're alright. 
You must be tired from all the walking today, so you should rest well. I actually wonder how we managed to walk all the way back, considering our legs probably sh almost shattered from the way from the church to the mansion and I was walking about an hour or so or it felt like three hours to him but then considering he also had to walk all the way back unless Rosary you know she just carried us on her back that wouldn't even surprise me in the slightest I will thank you Rosary Rosary smiles at me then leaves the room my eyes suddenly got heavy if I sleep now the bad feelings I, I just had should be completely gone time, by tomorrow. That's never worked for me. Like the bad feelings, they don't disappear from sleep for me at least. When I closed my eyes, a deep exhaustion came over me. I didn't resist it at all and fell asleep. Hey, you're still locking yourself up in that room and reading? Hmm, I know our father likes you, so you can just sit in there and read. Well, aren't you special? Brothers, please, knock before coming into my room. I've asked you over and over. Ha, huh, you got your own room because you're kinda smart? That's so disgusting. Yeah, you're nothing but brains. And you're likely the successor? That shouldn't happen. This again. When my father chose me as Kurokawa's successor, my older brothers kept cursing at me. Who'd they leave already? I want to read in peace. I don't care if I succeed Kurokawa Saibatsu or not. My father is still in good health and still active in the, in the business so I can't understand his decision. Hey, talk to me, you piece of crap. Oh my god, did they hit me? Did they get pissed off at me for ignoring them? My eldest brother punches me in the face. Wow. Yep, good old family bond. Ow, what are you doing? Huh, trying to talk back to me like you're a man? You're nothing. You can't do anything on your own. Damned right, you're a one-man plague, so why don't you do the Kurokawa family a favor and leave? Oh my god, I'm being beaten up by my own brothers. Stop, brothers. No. Get out. Get out. You're a bad omen. Nobody will shed a tear if you died. I shrink in on myself like a tortoise ret retreating into its shell to resist their violence. One man plague, they called me. To my brothers, I might be an obstacle to their own ambitions. <laughs> I didn't become a successor candidate because I wanted to. They said I can't do anything. That is true. Oh my god, I take back everything I said about Tadayoshi from before. Now I feel guilty. Because I said like, oh, he can't do anything on his own. He needs his butler for every step that he does. He needs them to burp him as well. And now he's actually like his brothers bullied him for not a very good reason, I'd say. Yeah, like sure, they're probably jealous for the fact that he, the younger brother got chosen as the successor. But dang, still. <laughs> so I can only move with the flow of the times. I had nothing particular to do except read in my room. But there was one thing I always looked forward to. I was pen pals with a girl who lived in a distant land, Germany. I met her in person when I was young. She had fair skin, lightly colored hair, and wide open eyes. I'd exchange letters with her on a monthly basis without skipping a single month She's an important person to me. What will she think when she hears of my death? Nah. As I whisper her name, the darkness overtakes me. Then my consciousness sinks into the depths. Good morning, world. 
<sighs> Morning already? A beam of sunlight shining through the window wakes me up. Hmm. Didn't think I'd dream about my time in the mansion. I'm a deep sleeper, so it's rare that I dream about anything. And it was about my brothers bullying me in the mansion. Isn't that ironic? Ah! Crackle, crackle. As I rise from the bed, I feel a shocking pain throughout my entire body. It's like every single muscle is screaming. I think all that walking yesterday was too much for a sanitary person like me. Growl, uh, we're hungry too of course. And I just realized I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I was so depressed, I didn't even notice I was hungry. But this pain and hunger is proof that I'm still alive. I take it as a positive sign that I, Tadayoshi Kurokawa, still exists. Morning, Tadayoshi-kun, are you awake? Yeah, my entire body hurts, but I'm awake already. <laughs> That's because you don't exercise. Poke. Rosary prods my body and smiles. Ow, 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 ow! Stop! Ah! My aching muscles amplify her touches into a pain throughout my body. Hmm. Rosary? Why are you staring at my face? Oh my god. <laughs> this look on her face. Rosary looks into my eyes. Oh. Her eyelashes are quite long. Okay. You seem to be alright. What? You look alert and well now. As if all your concerns have vanished. Oh. Well. <laughs> I had a bad dream, but I'm not feeling bad now. I feel strangely alert, like I've been reborn. Yeah, I'm like a dragon. Your breakfast is ready, so please come to the chapel. Then I'll introduce you to the children there. You'll be their big brother, so be nice to them. I'm the oldest? I was the youngest in the mansion, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> They are nice and honest, so it won't be a problem. Please play nice with them. Rosary walks out of the room as she finishes talking to me. Now, where are my shoes? I find my shoes under the bed and put them on by myself. Oh yeah, it's the second time. It's a natural thing, but I have to take care of things by myself. I am no longer Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Scion of Kurokawa Saibatsu, I am now Tadayoshi Kurokawa, a new, fresh person. I have shelter and food. I consider myself lucky. Ow! Crackle, crackle. Yep, that's the muscle ache again. As painfully as before, when I tried to stand up, the pain should naturally fade away if I do some physical activity today. <laughs> I'll be an older brother. I only had bad times with my brothers, but I'll do my best to be nice to everyone so I can live up to Rosary's expectations. Dang, look at this church. It, it, it looks like two um, ice sculptures, but they're probably just statues. Oh, I thought it would be a worn down church, but it actually seems to be in really good shape. As I open the door, I see a place called the chapel. It's exactly as described in a book I first learned about, uh, about them from. Some parts of the chapel are damaged, but even my amateur eyes can see that it must have been designed by some famous architect. Hehe, <laughs> this dish is mine! Huh? I saved that one for last! Hey! How many times do I have to tell you? Be quiet when you eat! Oh, those children seem so spirited. I've seen this sort of scene many times in books. But I'm astonished. It's the first time I've seen it with my own eyes. As I blink, my eyes meet Rosary's. 
Okay, everyone, stop fooling around and pay attention. As Rosary speaks up, the rowdy children settle down. When she's confirmed that the chapel has gone quiet, Rosary walks up to me. I could feel the children's curious glances piercing into me. Hey, Rosane, who's this girl? Alan, don't be so rude to your elders. Rosary grinds her fist on the body's temples. Oh god, the expression on her face, unchanging. It's gotta hurt. I know that has to hurt a lot. Ah, it hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those children call Rosary Rosane, like she's their older sister. I think she's more like a mother than a sister, but I won't say that out loud. Because I don't want her fists meeting my temples. Ah, I got it. He must be Rosane's prince. <laughs> Rosane is quite a girl. Uh, no, I'm not her prince. Not at all. A girl with sprightly looks and tan skin said that I'm Rosary's prince. She reminds me of a servant who took care of me when I was in the mansion. There's another girl who seems quiet, but is watching me cautiously. She reminds me of the girl who was my pen pal. Mirna, where did you get that idea from? So, this is Tadayoshi, and he's joining our little group today. He'll be an older brother to you all, I suppose, so be nice to him. Okay. Alan the boy and Myrna the spirited girl answered with friendly responses, but the scared girl who had been watching me hides behind Rosary. Don't be afraid of him, Julia. Introduce yourself to uh, Tadayoshi-kun. I am J Julia. Just as Rosary instructed her, Julia greeted me with a scared tone. She's so attached to Rosary. <laughs> Julia's so cute, don't you agree? My name is Mirna. Nice to meet you, Tadayoshi. I'm Alan. Good to see you, Tadayoshi. Yeah, nice to meet you. I had to wince at the power of children. I didn't think they were that lively. Those two were easy to get along with. Tadayoshi-kun. It's your turn now. Go introduce yourself. <clears throat> I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa, and I live here starting today. Nice to meet you, everyone. Yes, well done. Pat, pat, pat. Oh yeah, the sweet pats from Rosary. Rosary pats my head as I finish introducing myself. Hey, don't treat me like a child around them. Yeah, only in private, okay, Rosary? In front of the children, I have to act like I'm the big brother. Oops. <laughs> hey, you're already on Rosane's leash. Tadayoshi, you'll never become her prince that way. Look, the children are judging me. Now that this introduction is done, let's have breakfast. Today is a soup kitchen day, so eat well and be ready for it. Okay. Food at last. I was under a lot of pressure from those kids' energetic spirits. Communicating with them is hard to do, isn't it? Hey, Tadayoshi, how far have you gone with Rosary? What? Isn't that an inappropriate question, Myrna? Huh? I went to the Kurokawa mansion with her. But what about it? How insensitive are you? Don't you understand what I mean? Mirna, I'll have to slap you if you keep saying that. Ah, I wanted to know. <laughs> Children today are quite precautious. Or maybe I'm too ignorant of the world. Ah, Mirna did the thing again. No, I want Rosane to be happy. Huh? What do you mean? Well, 
Uh, Mirna is looking for a prince suitable for Rosane. I was surprised at hearing an answer from an unexpected source. Yeah, a so-called prince that makes Rosane happy. One of the picture books Rosane read to us had a prince. Since then, Mirna's been dreaming of one. Yulia mutters in a somewhat solitary tone. So, I was chosen as the prince for the first time, but soon she said that I'm not good enough for it. Because Alan's weak. I don't think I can leave Rosane to him. See? <laughs> oh, kids. It seems that women have the advantage over men here. Don't worry, Alan. I don't think you are weak. Julia is so kind. I know, right? So I love Julia. I won't let you have her. Myrna hugs Julia tightly, as if she's hugging a plush doll. Ah, uh, Myrna, you're hugging me too tightly. Julia squirms in Myrna's arms. It's a heartwarming scene to watch. Enough! It's good for you to be spirited like that, but people are coming for the soup kitchen. Are they? We've gotta hurry then! As Rosary talks about the soup kitchen, the children start eating at a faster pace. You mentioned the soup kitchen, but can you explain what that is? Well, once a month we make hot meals and give them to everyone in the slums. Oh, I've read about that in books. Isn't that when you make soup in a big pot and give it away? That's right. We can't prepare anything that's expensive, but I hope it will ease people's hunger. Your generosity is great, Rosary. It's not great at all. It's a natural act for sisters who serve God. It's her rightful duty to help troubled souls, and she takes that to be a natural thing. I think I can understand why these children like Rosary and want her to be happy. So, you should help me too, Tadayoshi-kun. What? Do I have to help? Don't be ungrateful, Tadayoshi. <laughs> You're getting a, a, a roof over your head, free food, even a mother figure in your life, and he's like, do I have to help? Of course. You're a member of my family, so you have to. A member of your family, huh? I'll do my best then. Her casual words bring warmth to my heart. I want to help her as much as I can. Seems like I'm used to this place already. Wow, there are lots of people here. A few moments ago, this place was lonely and bleak. But while we were having breakfast, many people came into the church. Mm. So this is how people live in the slums? I look around at the people gathering here. It's the same thing I thought yesterday. I don't mean to be rude, but they all look poor. People are silently lining up in front of a big pot. Among them are vigorous children and an old man with empty eyes. Does that mean he has no eyeballs or like his eyes are dead? In a sense that there's no life inside. You know, you know when they say, or sometimes you just see like the sparkle of life or happiness in a person's eyes. But I guess when they say that he has no eyes, or that it's like it looks like there's nothing behind the eyes, like it's just lifeless. Here you go, Rosary. Thank you for the soup, as always. An old woman thanks Rosary after receiving a bowl of soup and then bows to her and leaves. I don't know what that voice was. It was like an old person with an identity crisis. At first I tried to make it a grandpa's voice and then like, oh no, it's a woman. Change it to a woman's voice. And then, oh no, I can't do women's voice very well. So yeah, I don't know what it ended up sounding like, but definitely not accurate to be an old grandma. I think that explains something from yesterday. Suspicious people in the slums left me alone when they saw a rosary. Hey, you have to stay in line. Ah, I just want some. Don't worry, 
You'll get your soup soon. You can ask for refills too. Okay. The child does as Rosary says. Rosary likes to help people, but I think she's more sisterly. As I thought during breakfast today, Rosary and the children here aren't exactly well off. I don't think they can afford to do charity work, but they still try to. I'd scoff at it, uh, at it if I were still in the mansion. Tarayoshi-kun, don't just stand there. Help us. Oh, sorry. I was absorbed in watching people. Look, the children are already helping me out. Huh? Hey, Grandpa. Here's your soup. Oh, thank you, Alan. Here, it's hot, so you'd better blow on it before you eat it. Oh, sorry for troubling you as always, Myrna. Don't say that, Grandma. Please, don't push each other. Wow, even Julia speaks up at people, so I can't stand around doing nothing if I want to be a good brother. So, Rosary, what should I do? Bring me firewood and 50 more dishes. Hurry! Wait, don't tell me all at once. Firewood and dishes. 50 dishes. Oh, you want a refill? Sure. In the meantime, more people come into the church. The quiet church turns into a busy, populated area. By the way, how are they getting money for the dishes, food, and firewood? Who pays for them? And how does Rosary make money? Just a random thought. Are they getting assistance from the government? It's only been 10 years since the war ended. They are still rebuilding. So I don't think they can afford to assist. Well, that's not the important thing to think about. We still have soup for you! Don't panic everyone! Tadayoshi-kun, why are you going to bring me those dishes? S sorry, I'll get them right away. I went off in a hurry to get the dishes Rosary asked for. This isn't the time to think about juicy stories. I must do the tasks that are given to me. Hey, you there. No need to hurry. We still have soup to give away. By early afternoon, I've become somewhat proficient at this task. I hope my helping hand eases Rosary's burden. Oh, you're new here? Yes, I am Tadayoshi. I've been here since yesterday. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, uh -huh. good to see you're lively. Your name reminds me of the late scion of the Kurokawa family. Haha, <laughs> people keep telling me that. I won't tell anyone that I am, in fact, that same Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Because I had a little talk with Rosary a moment ago. Hey, Tadayoshi-kun, I think people might ask about you. But don't ever tell them that your family name is Kurokawa. Huh? Why? Even if these slums are far from your mansion, everyone knows that the scion of the Kurokawa family is gone. So telling people would cause you trouble. You don't want that to happen, do you? You're right. I got it. So I have to do as she asks. Judging by how that old woman reacted, Kurokawa's influence is much stronger than I thought, so it's best not to give out my name to avoid trouble. Here you go! Next! Ah, oh, it's the girl or woman. Oh, I see a beautiful woman coming up in the line. A dignified woman with a long black braid down her back. Why a rosary? And that woman taller than me. I'm so jealous. You're beautiful. So I'll give you some extra. I know that a man is weak to beauty. So I'll do my extra best. Yeah. 
Don't talk to me so easily. Oh, she scares me. <laughs> Her gaze stabs me like a knife. Lin? It's been a while. I'm glad to see you here. I'm here because some morons are spending their own money to give away free food. You know how valuable, valuable food is here? And you're giving it out for free? Why should I pass it up? Your sharp tongue hasn't changed, but it's good to see you're doing well. Since you came all this way, tuck in. You don't even need to tell me. Seems like that scary woman knows Rosary. She still has a harsh tongue, but it's somewhat softer than the tone she used with me. Hmm. Uh, did I do something wrong to you? The woman doesn't answer me, but she does keep on staring at me. The color of her eyes makes it seem as though she could see through anything. I feel somewhat uneasy, wondering if she's reading my mind. Only good thoughts, only good thoughts. Hey, Rosary. Yes, Lin? Who's that kid with the stupid smile on his face? Hmm. Does my face look like that? I'm rather more scared than happy. He's Tadayoshi, and I'm caring for him as of yesterday. He looks like an insolent boy, but he's delicate, so don't scare him off. Ah, insolent boy, you say. Hmm. I think I saw Lin's expression softer than before, or softer for a moment. Rosary, you picked up another kid. But you don't know who the hell he is? Her cold, sharp gaze hit me again. That gentle look must have been my imagination. <laughs> I can't leave anyone in trouble, so... You do that the way someone else might take in puppies or kittens. Not my fault if you get hurt. Don't worry. I know what to look for in people. You haven't changed, it seems. Lin stares at me even harder. She is very intimidating. I can't stand this. The atmosphere is getting heavier. Is this what they call mental anguish? I wanted to cry for help, but suddenly Alan and Myrna run towards me with loud footsteps. Wow, they're here to help me? It really is good to have a family. Seeing them help me makes me feel like weeping with joy. Whoa! Way to go, Tadayoshi! Moo, don't be a fool, Tadayoshi! Alan looks happy, but Myrna doesn't, and they run off yelling. Hmm. Oh no, they fueled it instead of helping me out! I can't look at Lin, it's too frightening for me! Jeez, precautious kids these days. Well, it's better than a scum in town. At least they're honest when they talk to you. Then Lin turns away to leave. You're going already, Lin? Didn't you come here for soup? I don't feel like it anymore. She didn't listen to Rosary and left the church. Hey, Rosary! Who is that Lin person? She's a friend who lives here in town. Lin lives in a very dangerous place in the slums, so I'm always worried about her. But I'm relieved that she looks well today. Rosary's expression does indeed look relieved. But I can't help thinking. Rosary is soft and gentle, while Lin is as sharp as a blade. I can't believe that they'd get along with each other. Well, opposites attract, right? Today's soup kitchen was a great success. Thank you for your help, everyone. Ah. Oh. I didn't think there were that many people in the slums. I took a break with Rosary in front of a large empty pot we used for the soup kitchen. More people came in after Lin left, so I had no chance to rest. Well, well, they looked happy with our soup, so it went well in the end. And Tadayoshi kun, you fit right in with the people here already. I was worried that you would be rude and start fighting. No wonder she worries about that. 
I was rude to her when I first met her. <laughs> Today, I became a new person. I decided to be more humble from now on. Perfect! I'm giving you full marks for that. She passed me yet again. But after this point, I've gotten used to Rosary treating me like a child and it no longer bothers me. People really are good at adapting. Okay, let's take a little break, then clean up. Yeah, I'm tired. I pick up a newspaper in the chapel and start reading it. I was in the habit of reading the newspaper every day. It feels like a long time since I last read one. They say the economy is doing well. Really? The newspaper says that the post-war fallout is over and our economy is booming. I would have believed in that article if I weren't here. This reminds me of the old saying, seeing is believing. As far as I can see in the slums, I don't think the economy is getting better. Whoa! Tadayoshi reads the newspapers? You look like an adult! I'm impressed, Tadayoshi. That's worth of, uh, worthy of Rosane's prints. Newspapers have a lot of kanji that are too tough for me. You must be really smart if you can read them. The children came out of nowhere and are looking at me with stars in their eyes. Am I getting their respect? Come to think of it, I heard many people in the slums can't read. Due to the policies that were implemented after the war, people have to show their IDs in order to work, even for simple labor. If you can't read and write, you can't get an ID, which means you can't get a job. That makes the situation in the slums even worse. The gap between the rich and the poor widens that way. Hey, Tarayoshi-kun. Yes, Alan? Teach us, please. Tarayoshi, you're smart enough to understand complicated kanji, right? So I think you, should, you could teach us. It's fine if you can help us a little. It's great if you can teach us when you're free. Wow. Even Julia actively wants to learn from me. I realize that it's a weekday, but we helped at the soup kitchen in the church. I thought all children went to school to learn, but I may have to reassess that. Life in the slums is equally hard for everyone, even children. Actually, I've never been to school myself either. I learned from dedicated private tutors that my father hired for me. They just teach straight out of the textbook with no enthusiasm. So I didn't rely on those tutors and I learned things from reading books on my own. I rather like to study. Hey, Rosary, mind if I help them study? Sure, why not? Study with them, please. Everyone, I'll do the cleanup. So you should listen to what Tadayoshi-kun says. How reasonable you are, Rosane! Now we've got to get ready! Tadayoshi, I'll be waiting in the chapel! I'll be there too! Wait, don't leave me! The children run into the church. Haha, <laughs> they're really spirited. Indeed, they are really happy to have a new face in the family. I gather they're all here together under some sort of awkward circumstances, but it'd be rude to pry. Well, I suck at anything physical, but I'm good with things that use the brain. Even my brothers, who called me a bad omen, could admit that I'm smart. Please, take care of them, Tarayoshi-kun. Sure, you can count on me. It's the first time Rosary's relied on me. That's good. Let's live up to our expectations. Alright, let's end the video here. Holy crap. <laughs> Those kids are actually pretty funny and adorable all together. Like they all, each of them have like their own different personality. But they all, all together, they're just so adorable. 
I can't help it. But yeah, in the next video, I guess we'll try and teach them to read. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.